Today we're going to create a bibliography. The first thing we need to do is to find the online bibliography generator. I'm here on the library homepage and the URL for that is up here. It's also in your planner. The way to find the bibliography generator is to go to Destiny, the library catalogue. We can go to the referencing tab here which gives us lots of information about bibliographies and over on the right we can access Destiny. At this point we need to log in. Your username is your normal username, network username and the password has been provided to you. Once you've logged in, you'll be able to see all the links on the home page here and we need to click on the online bibliography generator. Once it opens up, you have three choices. For senior students, for years 10, 11 and 12, we suggest that you use the senior bibliography. On this page, you can see that you can reference anything from artworks through to performances, journal articles, things from social media. You can also reference uh, unpublished material, lesson notes from your teacher, YouTubes, and of course, websites and images. For this example, we're going to um, reference a website. So we'll have a look at this website as an example. The first thing we need to do is to have a look and see if the website has an author. This one's quite obvious that there is an author here and luckily it also has a last updated date here. The other place you can often find these things is by looking at the very bottom of the page, scrolling all the way down to see if there is also some publication information there. I'm just going to scroll back up to the top of this page and have a look at this. So we'll go into our Bibliography Maker and we're going to say that it is a website with an author. There are examples here of how we can uh, reference this in text for those of you who need in text referencing. An example of what our final bibliography will look like in our reference list and we can hover over each of these items here for more information. Then we have our fill in field here. So back to our website for our family name and we can see that it's Smeal J. So we just type this in. Last update is the year of last update and this is 2011. The title of the article, we can copy and paste this where possible. The name of the sponsor is probably the most confusing part of this. It is the name of the company or organisation that is responsible for the website. It's usually quite obvious on the page. Here you can see it's BBC, but if you're not sure, you can look up in the URL and it's often straight after the www. So we know it's BBC. Date accessed is the day you actually looked at the website. Uh, it automatically generates today's date but you can change this if perhaps you looked at the website a week or so ago. The last thing we need to do is copy the URL, paste it into that box and then we create our citation. The bibliography generator reminds us that we have to arrange references in alphabetical order by the first word it also reminds us to ignore the small words A and or the. So we can then just copy this 
and we can go and paste it in our Word document. I might like to put the heading Bibliography and we paste that in there and we continue with our references. If we make a mistake, in our bibliography generator, perhaps if we leave a field blank and we try to create the citation, it won't work for us and instead that field will be highlighted in red to remind us that we need that. If we can't find a date, we put the initials n.d. as specified here and once again create our citation.